Here in the channel, we always preach a message of quality life, and that quality life involves the four F's, which is family, fitness, finance, and faith. All four of those have to go together. And now, I've been talking a lot about fitness recently, but let's talk about finance and family. A lot of times you wanna spend more time with your family, but your job hinders you from doing that. However, this past year, a lot of us have learned that remote jobs are a thing and that they pay much better than going out and finding a job outside. Let's talk about how you guys can get your own remote job and which one is the best one for you. Let's go. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Carlos Quintanilla and always great to see your guys' faces. Also, you new people that are here on the channel. And if you're new, consider subscribing, liking this video right before we get started because we have a lot of things to talk about. And I know I've taken a little bit of a break recently. I know that, you know, um, haven't been as constant, but we are getting back into this. And it's for good reason too, because I was getting some things accommodated and more particular in the thing that I'm gonna talk about today because I recently just got myself a remote job. And it's been one of the hardest things, learning the process, learning the system. But here I am now, and this week is gonna be one of the first weeks that I get started, and it's gonna be one of the best ones. Let me tell you guys how I got it, why you need it, and so many more things. Once again, like this video if you haven't already. It's about like right here, right, right under my finger where it is right now. Press that button right now before we get started. I'll be waiting. Press the hit. All right, let's get right on to this video. 2020 caused a lot of us to get remote jobs, work from home, and learn other ventures to make money. Now, right now, we are kind of not there yet, but we're kind of transitioning post-pandemic era now because a lot of places are opening, a lot of people are getting vaccinated, and all good stuff, you know? But we did learn that these remote jobs might be staying forever. If you go and take a look at the news right now, it says that places such as Chipotle and McDonald's are raising up their minimum from $11, $13 to up to $18 because nobody wants to go and work there when they could just work from their house, doing TikToks, making videos, uh, calling people from their laptop. It's crazy. A lot of people have, have become more aware of what is the remote work industry. Hundreds if not thousands of businesses have gone fully remote, meaning 100%, meaning that they don't even need a bit like a building anymore. No real overhead that much. <laughs> That's crazy. A lot of places still have to, like McDonald's and restaurants, but the restaurant industry is really getting hit because a lot of people are rather work from home, rather work somewhere else than go out and find an actual job like that. But what's the, special thing about working from home first of all you don't even have to go anywhere if you take a look at me i go to bed right next to where i go to work it might sound kind of eh but here's the thing not only have it's given me more time to do whatever i want because i wake up at six in the morning and then at seven i'm on the phones and i'm doing whatever i have to do i've logged in and then i'm already going at it by 2 3 p.m i've already completed the eight hour shift that i need to do 3 p.m and then i don't have to drive anywhere i don't have to put any gas i don't have to nothing i just roll over onto my chair and then there i am already on the phones making calls getting ready to do what i need to do and then once i'm done if i'm hungry i can go to my kitchen if i need to use the bathroom it's right there i don't have to ask permission to anybody i can do whatever i want i'm working from my house and a lot of people have found out that by doing this you are more control of what you make your income it's not limited it's not capped at a certain place as a matter of fact depending on the type of remote job that you get your income can grow substantially depending on how hard you work and first of all what do you need you need the following you need internet access and you also need a laptop or a desktop in some places you just need a phone that's it literally that is it a laptop can cost you well a thousand dollars if you don't i mean if you have a laptop most people have a laptop most people have desktops most people have phones 
right? And almost everybody has internet access, especially here in the USA and in other countries as well. You have internet and you probably have a laptop. If you take a look right behind me at my desk setup right here, all I have as my main thing is my laptop, but I've added on other stuff like my microphone, my mouse, my keyboard to add on other features and other you know ways to make it look better and to take the load off. Because sometimes, you know, when you're working on a laptop for exper uh, an extended amount of time, my back started hurting. So, you know, just to get a little further away from me so my eyes don't hurt as much and so that my back isn't leaning over, yeah, guess what? I, I figured that out. It's nothing too crazy, it's nothing too uh, insane like that, but I do like it. I am happy that I have it. And it's just a start, right? It's just a start. So it's kind of proof that you don't need much. Not even the lap, you don't even need the microphone. The microphone comes built in into the laptop. This is just an external one that, cause I just want to sound even better on Zoom calls and everything. Now, where could you go to find a remote job? There's gonna be two, three websites that I'm actually gonna recommend for you. Number one is indeed.com. Right there, you can go search what is remote jobs, and then you'll be able to find a bunch of categories for either insurance agents, for um, sales positions, right? So there's also for customer service, there's a bunch of stuff. And also you can also go to weworkremotely.com, which is another uh, job site that basically focus on working remotely. So all of the jobs that are listed there are straight up work from home. And the third one is Dynamite Jobs. These are the three places that you're gonna wanna go and start finding which one has a great opportunity for you. So then the question is, Carlos, which one works for me? The two that I would recommend for you to either apply for or to check out is gonna be either a sales representative or a customer service representative. These two are gonna be two of the easiest ones, all right? These are gonna be two of the easiest ones, now, but each one of them have their own limitations, uh, their, their own positives and negatives. Firstly, for a sales representative, if you want to do sales, guess what? Sales requires commission, and a lot of places they're gonna say commission only, and you gotta have that, hey, if I'm only gonna be making commission, that's gonna be hard. That's what I got. I got a sales position, just basically calling people and having them do, I'm not really selling, I'm doing more of a, of a industry federal standard update on them, but it's not something that I'm uh, selling per se. It's not something that they could want, it's something that they need, so it's even easier for me. So it's not that difficult. And because it's commission only, that means that the commission structure is pretty vast. There's people that within a month are making $1,000 a week. There's people within six months that are making anywhere from two to $3,000 a week. And we get paid every Wednesday and it's, it's so simple. It's so simple, uh, but everything is dependent on us. And plus, once you work at it for a little bit of time, they're gonna give you an app on your phone where you're able to go and work from anywhere in the world. Imagine that, if I wanna leave my setup right here, I can leave it here if I wanna go on vacation or if I wanna go see my parents over in Missouri, I can go do that and just take my phone and work from my phone. I can do that. That's, it's that simple. Now, anyone can do that. The, the con is that is there's no base. So they do require you at least 20 hours for me. Uh, they do require me to do 20 hours of on, on the job working. So at least that's part-time, quote unquote, but they don't pay me for any of that, the time there. So it's pretty, yeah, that's kind of substantial. So if I don't sell anything, I don't make any money. However, with time, you get better at it. And then it becomes something second nature. Let me give you an example. If I make $50 a commission, which is what they pay me, that's the basic. For the basic thing that we're doing, there's other services, there's about seven services, but if I just sell the basic thing, just the basic thing, that's $50 in commission. If I sell one one hour and then another one the following hour, guess what? Hey, that's $100. That's about a, almost around a minimum wage for someone. If I make another sale in the next hour and then one more in the fourth hour, that's crazy. There you go. That's $200 a day. Do you want to know something? In order for you to make six figures a year, you just need around $250 every single day and you'll make six figures. Crazy. Crazy. Sounds like a lot, but within 30 people that you talk to, and then you, you can't get one 
two, three, four, maybe five people to tell you, you know, it's a lot more simpler than it might than it might seem. But at the same time, you gotta put the work. You gotta put the work, you gotta learn the product, you gotta do a bunch of stuff. However, in my job, in my industry, guess what, making $3,000 a, a, a week is simple. It's simple, apparently. <laughs> I'm, I'm new, so I'm just starting off. And the other one is as a customer service representative. Now that one, you can make more money faster, but it's not as much. When I say more money, you mean like right off the bat, you, you can be getting paid by the company by hourly. So if they have their own system, like ADP or something, where you gotta clock in and then there, they will time how much time you are there and then they'll pay you based off of your, your hourly. And there's places that can do that. And then you're just there on, on call, just waiting for calls to come in and helping people out. Those are my recommendations simply because guess what? They're the easiest one. The cons with a customer service representative is that you don't get, you can't make too much money. It's something that you can do, but you won't like super like come out a lot. You will get ahead in the sense that you won't be paying a lot for driving your vehicle. You won't get, you know, you won't have to put a bunch of gas. Hey, if it, hell, if you want to, you can get rid of your car. You can sell it and then you'll be fine working from home. But the downside is that you won't be making that much money. So now the question is, which one is the one for you? Now, are you trying to make a career out of working from home and be able to get a lot of other things? So as a sales representative is the way to go because commission is the way for the future. Every, every person that has made a lot of money within working knows that commission structures are the ways to make the most amount of money. And plus, if you're already working from home, it's gonna give you that initiative to start looking for other ventures, affiliate marketing, YouTube, TikTok. Hey, what else can I do to make money from home? You're gonna become more you know, open to it. And plus, it'll give you a lot more time to do other stuff. Right now, I'm in the process of getting my real estate license because <laughs> I wanna do that too. And if I could do that working from home and then go in doing some real estate, that's gonna be amazing. But that's just, you know, keep it in the low key at the moment. However, guys, I'm gonna leave the rest up to you. What do you think about this? What do you wanna do? You have any questions for me? Hey, leave it down below as well. I will be giving you guys updates, constant updates, monthly updates on what has been going on with me and this remote job. And if it's actually for people, if people can actually make livings, because you can be like, Carlos, I have a whole family. I can't just drop my job. So I'm gonna say this. Go and start looking for a place that you can go and work remotely. You can do it at a Starbucks, you can do it at your house, but guess what? Get a job because not only will you get more time with your family, not only will you get to do more things that you wanna do, as well as your wallet is gonna thank you afterwards. All right guys, with that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Hey guys, thank you for reaching the end of the video. If you are, just, if you guys are still here, uh, I just want to say thank you uh, for you know keeping up to date with me. As well as thank you for uh, 240 subscribers as of this moment of recording the video. Uh, we are growing very slowly. I remember the, the video that I was like, thank you for 50 subscribers. Now we're at 240. It's, it's a good amount. And well, I know that more is are yet to come. The videos are gonna start coming out more often now. I wanna put my uh, the goal of doing three videos a week once again. I know that's gonna take a lot of effort for me. The reason it was hard is because my laptop wasn't able to, but I've done some updates, I've done some changes to it, deleted a bunch of stuff. I'm hoping that it's gonna make it the process go a little bit easier, but as well as, um, uh, as a thank you for everybody showing support. Right now, recently I have a video that's actually kind of blowing up a little bit, just a little bit. 6,000 views. I know it's not a lot, but for me, that's the most I've ever had, so I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> but, you know, as a thank you, I want to put my part and give you guys great videos. What else, well, what kind of other videos do you guys want to see? Let me know down below. And with that, I want to say thank you once again, and I hope you guys have a great day.